My name is Douglas Boat, a uh, research geologist researching the causes of the Ice Age of Reversal. And we're doing this conference uh, for Creative Societies Forum. And I hope you enjoy it. And uh, uh, you're going to learn a lot of what's really causing um, the climate change. What has the most influence on, the, on our climate? Now, that little green thing there, that spot there, that's our Earth. That back to the, in size of proportion to the sun. And do you think the, the ants on that speck of dust has an influence on, on global warming? No, it's the sun. This is an IQ test. If you're too stupid to understand this, instead, you're thoroughly brainwashed by governments that think global warming is caused by your car, your hibachi, um, you breathing too much and cow farts, you're too stupid for this discussion at all. You're going to become like the dinosaurs extinct and you should be. You're too stupid to survive. What you're looking at is two ice cores. The one on the left-hand side, see that black band in there? That's about 12,000 years ago. The one on the right also is 12,000 years ago. And depending on where they took the ice cores, one is in uh, Antarctica, the other one, I think, may be Greenland. But you get an idea of this is worldwide, and, and the ice cores tell the story right, right off the bat. Now, th what they in the ice cores, they say, well, there's a higher concentration of CO2. Another source of CO2 in the sedimentary layers would be also more volcanoes going off. It gives, gives off a whole bunch of chemicals, including CO2. Now, I'm going to explain why you're going to have an increase in volcanoes. So the volcanoes go off, but you're able to date material that, an, that a lahar or lava went over and then burned a log or whatever. And they find it in, in the um, sediment below. This is dating organic material that was found under lahars or, or uh, lava. And again, they all group around 12,000, 24, 36,000. There's one more. 48,000 and 60,000. They're, they're harder to find evidence like this because why bother? I mean, the scientist has so much time. Is he going to go plow through a bunch of uh, lava flows to try to find a log that's got part burned and try to do a carbon-14 dating? Remember, remember that I told you about a, a piece or a phenomena? You have to know to, to do the carbon-14 dating of something like this. And it costs money to, to have it done. Now, on the right-hand side, I'm trying to show the model of what's going on in the center of the sun, of the Earth, rather. The center modulation point, as you get closer to the reversal, you have a collapsing magnetic field, which is what's happening now. It's exponentially collapsing. So it heats up, and the heat percolates through the, the lower mantle, the upper mantle. And then finally, what happens, you'll wind up with, you know, these, these cavities with magma in it, start getting bigger and hotter, and you're going to have more and more volcanoes going off, which is the case now. There's over 25 or 30 volcanoes going off now. The worst will be about a year to two years after sunspot maximum. We're going to have a lot of these things going off, and there'll also be an increase in earthquakes. Like I said, this is going to be a lot of earthquakes because between the upper mantle and the crust, it's going to be more fluid and liquid. So you can have the moon on one side, the sun on another, Maybe enough to release some pressure someplace and let these plates start moving more. You're going to have a lot more earthquakes. So on the right-hand side, it shows you the, the traditional model of a bar magma in the center of our Earth. Yeah, right, sure. And, uh, but this is, this is really what's going on right now. Now, you're going to have more hurricanes and more tornadoes. And it's all due to the output from the sun. And this is why. Sun's output increases. It's going to increase more evaporation of the oceans, oceans heat up, you'll have more hurricanes and also storms and tornadoes, more, evapor more evaporation of ocean water, more rain and storms. It has nothing to do with mankind. If there was nobody on the planet, this still would be going on. It, we're seeing this thing happen on other planets in our solar system. There's nobody there. They're not driving any cars. So, I mean, I'm telling you, you have to fish through the disinformation that's created 
government wants money by taxing you for because you're hurting mommy earth. Fortunately, daddy's son is going to get rid of them real fast. But by then, it's going to be too late for them, too. The bureaucrats have done something incredibly stupid that hurts themselves more than as well as the rest of us. And I, I don't know what to say. It's like I woke up in the insane asylum and the patients have taken over. And taken over academia, too. Like I said, they've institutionalized stupidity for the one purpose of gaining money from government, usually, and tuition. What else do I say? I mean, this is the end of days, literally. And I'm basically trying to help people so they save their lives, so somebody can save their lives. I mean, I'm one voice. Uh, Die Hole Foundation is a, a nonprofit science foundation. We're doing the best we can, but it's um, a lot of headwinds, a lot of stupid people, and, and people who don't want this thing to be known. And people say, I'm brave in doing this. I don't see any bravery in it. What's the why to be brave to tell the truth of what you discovered? What's the point? If you see something that's wrong or evil, you should say it. Tell people.